Hello everyone and welcome back to Classic Cricket Matches. Today I have the highlights from a uh, Pakistan and Bangladesh uh, T20 game that took place in 2008. This was actually the first ever T20 international played in Pakistan. Uh, Mohammad Ashraful was the uh, captain of the Bangladesh team while uh, Shoaib Malik was leading the Pakistan side. And unfortunately I only have the second innings of this game. You see I downloaded all these clips many many years ago and unfortunately over the years I've lost a couple of here and there so I only have the second innings of this game uh, just to give you a brief uh, recap uh, Pak the Pakistani team won the toss and uh, elected to bat first and they posted a pretty big total of uh, 203 runs for five wickets uh, the leading scorer was uh, Miss Paul Huck with uh, 87 not out so Bangladesh needed to chase 204 runs uh, for a victory uh, so here are the uh, second inning highlights uh, again before we begin I would like to ask you to please press that subscribe and like button as it would really help this channel and without further ado uh, enjoy the game Good, easy run up short wide and he's cut that uh, straight to the fielder at uh, third man Nazimuddin oh, hit that up in the air there is a man coming under it oh he stopped it Shahid Afridi, the local hero, has disappointed the crowd one more time. And he just might have injured himself as well. And you don't believe it. He was placed there for that uh, shot and uh, he was there. He's one of the best fielder in the Pakistan side. He was placed there, got the top edge. It was almost halfway. Afridi ran almost uh, 20 yards, 30 yards, but in the end could not catch it. That's a attacking shot. It's going towards the fence for four. That's a good start. Tommy Mikbal uh, finally getting into that. Going down the wicket and uh, putting that away into the mid-wicket region for the boundary. Good use of the feet and got under it. Good shot in the end uh, from Tommy Mikbal. He saw the batsman coming down the wicket and tried to bowl into his legs. and the wide four runs he's moved uh, room and I uh, cracked it it's gone up in the air there's a fielder going under it oh he's dropped it again well there was a bit of a clash in the end but uh, Bangladesh and the batsman survive it is once again Shahid Afridi 18 for none of three Well, he's tried to hit that and he's got a top edge and he's gone all the way. Six. Well, this is what happens when you have the pace. If you can hit, if you get a good hit or a top edge, it always carries. Well, he's not bowling with a lot of pace. He got quite a lot of bat, but uh, luckily, fielder inside the circle and ball going all the way. Went at it quite hard. Didn't time it. No problem. Still gets a six. Uh, useful runs. This is what uh, Bangladesh batsmen need now. They have to attack. Oh, it's a thick inside edge. Will go on to the boundary. A lucky one. 12 coming in that over. 30 for none. Good match so far for him. Well, he's uh, thumbed that uh, down the ground for four. Tamim Iqbal showing intent to pick up the boundaries. That was a cracker. That was a good shot. And as I said earlier, I've, the, the pace is there with the Pakistani uh, bowlers. And if you time it, it will travel. It will travel fast. And as you can see here, it was a cracker. Good shot. And Umar Gul did not like that. If you can see that he was looking at Tamim Iqbal. Gave him a very bad stare. Well, wickets in hand, Bangladesh still have a chance. He moves on to 19 of 14 deliveries. He's got three boundaries to his credit so far. Once again, making room and uh, playing back past the bowler. Will that go all the way as well? It does. This is a good over. Nine coming off that over. 39 for none.
Well, it's hit the top of the stumps. That's clean bowled. Trying to york it. It's very difficult to hit these low full tosses. No matter what cricket you're playing. First wicket for Pakistanis here. Wickets will matter. If you have wickets in hand, you can really score heavy runs, but giving himself some room, lovely stroke. There's the gap I was talking about. Over extra cover, always a, a gap behind a man who's up inside the circle. Inside out, there is a big room. Nicely dispatched for four. They'll need many more of these to get close to Pakistan total. Good stroke again down the ground, using the drive from the front foot. Spinners operating together. One coming into the right-handers, Shah Malik. The other one going away from him in Shah Dafridi. Gaps either side. Coming down the wicket, lofting in the air. Bowler running back. Is there a potential collision here? The captain's there. He's missed it as well. Never, ever looked comfortable running away with his back to the wicket didn't ever get in a good position trying to loft it went really high in the end Malik failing to catch it this is the third catch Pakistan dropped today two by Afridi and one here by Shwai Malik the captain just a single this one is a bit more width Collected uh, by Fawad on the boundary. Good field of this man, young man, really good. Going hard. Skimmer, there's a man out there in the deep, taken. Yunus Khan. Captain picks up wicket here for Pakistan. Yunus Khan, one of the best fielders. Very good catch there. Man back on the boundary. Muhammad Ashraful is the dismissed man. He wanted to go over him. He took him on on the edge didn't quite get it straight enough allowed the ball to turn and so he had to drag it slightly so he fetched it he's gone he's paid the price 13 for him 64 for two after nine they need boundaries down the wicket he's hit that he's hit that way over Nazim Uddin he gets into the act and uh, gets his uh, another six the second one. Yes, they need the boundary and the big ones, the sixes. And uh, here's one coming up. There you see going up, right up, right over the fielder for the maximum. This is exactly what Bangladesh needs badly. He goes one more time. It's even a bigger one. It's gone. Two sixes in a row. What a great shot again. Two consecutive sixes. That's a very well controlled shot. You wouldn't call that a slog at all. It has a very controlled yeah, shot well, placement. There's a big gap at mid wicket, but he puts it over the fin for the maximum. Well, he's played that for a single. Two sixes in two deliveries and a single. This has been the last one. Bangladesh. 15 coming in that over. Oh, big mix-up, big mix-up, really good over, and the next over, very first delivery, a run out. Yes, in a big loss, Nazimuddin going on the floor now, and suddenly this run out will definitely harm the Bangladeshis a lot. I mean, look at that one, he's just cutting that one, finding the fielder, but being sent back, now it's straight to the fielder almost, and uh, the non-striker responded, but finished up nowhere. Bangladesh 85 for 3 in 11.1. And he's uh, hit that straight. It's uh, up in the air and out. Wicket number second in this over. Sakib Sakib Hassan gone. 88 for 4. Afridi knowing that he's going to go for it, so he looped that one up a little bit higher up in the air. 
and Chaki went for it but didn't really time it 100% as he wanted it and probably shot about 10 yards inside the boundary and very well just cash taken by 88 for 4 Oh, that was the edge straight to the hands of a keeper, but uh, Nadeem Gauri has uh, signaled a no ball. Good ball there, but uh, unfortunately for Riaz, he crossed the line, the front line, so which you are not allowed to do, even if you, are bo if you bowl a beauty like this. Look at that. Okay, not a big one, but still, according to the umpire, Free hit there for other is uh, gets an opportunity to get some runs off the free hit short once again uh, the batsman making a uh, room uh, to play over somewhere around in the cover region easy action one is cut towards third man only for one Well, that can be very, very close indeed. It's uh, Fawad Alam. He was uh, involved earlier in uh, one of the one-day one games that he picked up from uh, the boundary line and threw it back to onto the stumps. Look at that. Throw is good. Looking good here. He's gone. He's gone. Fantastic piece of uh, feeling from uh, Fawad Alam. And uh, the batsman will find himself well short of the crease. Red light on. One more wicket gone. See, apart from the throw, I think the great work done here by Kamran Akmal was, uh, we'll talk about that in the coming over. It's 92 for five. Tufay, putting his leg guards on, getting ready to come in. Well, a direct hit. And uh, resulting in uh, yet another dismissal. This time it's uh, Ms. Baulak who picks it up and throws it straight onto the stumps. Nazimuddin has uh, played that straight to his hand, directed no problem whatsoever. One more run out, another man goes back to the pavilion. 94 for 5. Until unless the batsman takes it. Gone. Gets a wicket. Nazim Hulu has looked uh, very good. Finally gets out. See, that's real clever bowling. He's got a fielder there for the hook shot, the pull shot. There's a deep square leg right on the boundary edge. Gives him a short one. There we see it. A short one, a rather, I would say, a leg spin short one at 107.7 kilometers. And what a nice catch taken! A slow, a slow delivery to dismiss uh, Nazim for 42, 96 for seven. And stumped. Haven't been able to handle the turn here. Mansoor gets a wicket. Well, I'm happy that Mansoor has given a chance to bowl. Uh, because he's playing his match for the Pakistan and uh, it's good sign that he's got a ball and it got a turn simple stumping for Kamran Akmal and the Bangladesh have lost the eight wicket and Muhammadullah Riyadh has gone for two they are 99 for eight now so a miracle required here here's uh, Mansoor again oh dear that one just carried on it's a no ball but just carries on not the leg spinner. Now the free hit. Well, excitement for the youngster. It's almost on the line. Uh, no, it was very tight. Free hit for Abdul Razak. And uh, we have to see how they utilized. Everybody is almost there. There is a long on and a mid wicket. And a square leg. So it's a free hit. Mansur Amjad playing his, uh, rather bowling his first over in the international cricket. Big hit, bowl, but no use. Anyway, it's a good thing that he bowled a good ball. 
Kamran Akmal appeal for the stamping. He, as you can see now. Yeah, wrong one. Looking to go with the tide. Didn't pick it, thinking it was a leg spinner. He gets bowled, but because it's a free hit, not out. Stumped, perhaps. Doesn't matter. Not out. The only way you can be out on a free hit goes with it this time. Works with the ball. Only way you can be out of a free hit, run out or handled ball, obstructing the field. All those rather strange dismissals. So, bold. Now he won. Does he move out? Yes. He, now he picks up. Cameron Akamal picks up the stump because the bale has been dis, has dislodged already. Mottazar coming down the wicket, hitting hard, and he's going to be caught. Is he? Yes. Long off. Umagul. Well, another wicket gone. And I have a feeling that's going to be all over soon. And Ashraf is not happy. Mottazar is gone. Mottazar is the... Uh, person would like to hit and obviously he was taking a chance this is a 2020 game he cannot play all the overs but I'm happy for Mansoor Amjad who got a chance he's taking his second wicket easy catch to Margul at long off so Murtaza is gone he wanted to hit towards the extra cover that's what he shows the Pakistan team is happy Murtaza is gone for two and uh, Bangladesh has lost the nine wicket for 101 runs one for nine in the 16th over. Just the one contribution of any significance from uh, Nazimuddin. Last man in. Bold. Oh, Mansoor. He has picked up three in an over. Good performance. I'm so happy for the youngster. At least he got a chance to perform. Got three wickets an hour, which is a very good performance. He's a very good batsman too. He's a good future. So, this over turning out to be a disaster for Bangladesh. They have lost three wickets and uh, Pakistan cricket team is very happy because they have won the first ever 2020 international match in Pakistan. Well, you can't do better than get three wickets in a row. What a good start for Monsu there in the middle of your picture, Mansur Amjad. And uh, he gets three wickets, he's hit the woodwork. He's also beaten the outside edge to get the stumping. The captain is delighted with him. So, uh, Sohail Tanvir, I think there's some very good signs here for uh, Pakistan. Shob Malik, a pat on the back for him. Some really good young players coming through. Well, this youngsters. Bangladesh chasing 200. And, and that right there was the first ever uh, T20 International played in Pakistan. It was played in Karachi, Pakistan in 2008. So a pretty massive win there in the end uh, by 102 runs. Uh, wickets being shared equally amongst all the Pakistani bowlers except for one. The young Mansoor Amjad uh, was playing in his first ever uh, international game. Uh, so he, it was a debut for him uh, where he only bowled one over and managed to take three wickets. And yet, strangely enough, he was never given another game after this. So, uh, what a debut it was. One, one game, one over, three wickets, and never played the T20 again. Just another uh, amazing selection conundrum in the uh, Pakistan cricket board. He did, he did play one one-day game later, a couple months later in June. But uh, that was it. Uh, unfortunately, um, I guess there was just too much competition in the side. And... Uh, uh, the, the young Mansoor Amjad never got to show his uh, full potential. Well, that's it for today. Again, apologies for only bringing you one innings, but uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try to bring you better highlights next time. Until then, take care and goodbye.